important meals of the day. Welcome back here to CT Style. But you know, the morning time is a little hectic for most folks, but thankfully Chef Plum is here in the kitchen with an easy apple Danish recipe. I like to think of myself as someone who helps people. That's what I do. You know, I take food, I use food to help people. Is that, does you're, that work? You're like a family psychiatrist, family... Culinary Jedi. Culinary Jedi. Trash talker Skywalker. I like that. Did you <laughs> see that. the movie? I haven't yet. I haven't. You haven't seen the movie? I know, I know. I'm a mess. But I'm great with a lightsaber. That's the thing. Like, I have are. a whole lightsaber skill that's awesome. Are, yep, yep. are you good with a knife? Yeah, of course I'm good with a knife. Can we test your skills? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, Let's see. here we go. Here we go. Well, we got All some right. of it. Look, we got some of it. Well, we tried. How about that? Yeah, we, we just nicked it. We did. The good part is the egg wash went everywhere, but don't worry about that. You're, you're a Jedi in training. That's Can we say that? <laughs> that's right. That's right. right. Is that a Padawan? What do they call that? I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Yeah, it, it was my lofting. I would probably. I I, let's, let's blame you. Let's blame well, me for sure. Let's get into the recipe. You got it. So we've got some awesome Danish here. So Danish is one of those things. They look great. You go to the bakery. You buy them. They look so pretty. They have fruit in them. They've got icing on top of them. You can make them at the house. So easy to do. First thing you got to get is some of this stuff. It's called okay. puff pastry dough. They sell it at the grocery store. It's really, really easy. So you just yeah. put it over here. You got to walk over here to where the flour is. Here we are. Now, every time I do a recipe with flour, I wear my black coat, so that's a good idea. That's, that's right. a great look. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out here. You know what we're going to do? we got our egg wash here. Let's cut some of this off. <laughs> that'll, that'll stick everywhere. So we're going to roll this out a little bit. So Ryan, go for it. Just be careful. Just roll okay. the sides there. We want to get a little bit thinner. Not super thin, just a little bit thinner. Just to here. You got it. Just this is the easiest the thing touch. you've ever seen. Anybody can do this. It's, it's so simple. You can make them ahead of time, and they'll last. They'll sit on your counter for like a few days and be just fine. And this is some fun that uh, the kids can do at home with you. Which oh, is absolutely. Nice and here's the best part. That looks great. You can stop right there. So okay. all you guys want to do is try to get it down a little bit. If you can get a shot in there, you can kind of see. Just get it a little bit thinner there. Okay. So we're just going to take our knife and make it super easy here. We're going to make little tiny strips like this, right? All you do then, cut into smaller squares, right? This is so easy. Now, let your mind go nuts. Ready? Mind go nuts. Clear your mind. It's make any shapes nuts. you want. So what you're going to do, this is the best shape you can make. A little egg wash here. Egg wash is flour, water, whip it together. So easy. It makes things stick. We're going to dab a little finger, put it in the middle, and then all I do is I fold over one, Fold over two, just like that. See if you can do it. Okay. So usually it sticks. In the middle. There you go. Not in the middle, fold, fold them right over. over. Right. And easy. Perfect. Now we're gonna pick those up and we're gonna put them right on top of the sheet tray. Okay. Here you go. I put a little non-stick spray here so they won't stick too badly. Now you can also take a little egg wash. And just give a little dab on there and brush it around. You don't have to do that, but. What does that do? Just help? Makes them look brown. Okay. So then you're gonna put them in the oven, 400 degrees, about 15 minutes. So okay. it's gonna be a long segment. Right. Is that okay? That's fine. Right. We, so while it's we working. Have a half hour, so why not? Perfect. While it's working, really easy, we're gonna make our glaze that goes on top, okay? Okay. This is the easiest stuff ever. You're gonna take a little bit of powdered sugar, mm -hmm. right? This stuff's so much fun. Powdered sugar, it'll get everywhere. Again, here I am in my black coat. the black. Well, that's why I wear the dark gray, you know, so that we can... Uh, I cook food and I make jokes. Make like, I'm not really good at stuff like... What's your job? You know, I need to talk that, where's, you know, get better style or something. Yeah. Little milk, little powdered sugar, let it come to a boil. Just give it a whisk a few times, it'll come together and it makes this awesome, awesome glaze like this. Right? Yummy. It's really good. Really, really good. Then, our apple filling, really easy. We're gonna throw some butter in here. Right, let that butter melt down. Okay. Now, apples, we already started cutting it, so we're ahead we did, of the yeah. game. Pre cut apples. Ahead right. of the game, right? Just pop them right in there, just like this. Just apples right in there. A little bit of sugar. Now, the egg wash that you spill when you try to cut your egg, I mean, when you try to cut your apple in the air, don't get that in there. That's a bad idea. Yeah, we do not want that. Let that cook down, right? So, so, so easy. Now, through my Jedi culinary skills, Padawan. That that's is. right. I've got. Get a twisted chef fun. Sorry, sorry. I've got some baked off, ready to rock and roll. Nice. Here's okay. what we do. Let's see. You made it easy for us. Today. That's what I did. That's what I did. Thank you. Thank you. Mise en place. Everything in its place. Mise en place. Everything in its place. You right got it. French. So now we're gonna take our little apples here. This is what your apples look like when they're done. They cook down with a little sugar, that little butter. They're so delicious. It's almost like an apple pie filling. It smells so you good. can also yeah. use like just a jam or a jelly. Yeah. Raspberry jam right in the middle. Same thing we're doing here with the apples. Ready? Watch this. Put it right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Kids love them and they can make all these fun shapes with it. Take a little bit of your glaze. Or a lot of it. Can we do a lot of it? We could do a lot. We won't tell anybody. Drip it on there. We'll tell the kids at home. Look at that. Just Ooh. drip it on there. Look at that. And these things are fantastic for in the morning. And all the different shapes you can make. We made some pinwheels over here. We made these little fold over guys like that. Give that a go. Okay. Don't be scared go. of it. It's Let's delicious. Absolutely fantastic. So easy to make. You can make them at home. You can make them mm. a couple days ahead of time. They'll last. You can use different fillings for the uh, middle of them. I've used cherries. I've used apples. I've used pears. Anything works.
Ryan's still eating, so I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> it's that good. It is I'm, that good. I'm dropping apples here in the vendor kitchen, I guess. Now, now you're um, online. You're all over the place. Absolutely, right? absolutely. You can find me uh, on Instagram, uh, Twitter at Chef Plum. You type in Chef Plum, it comes up. I'm the guy with the knives trying to look cool. You I, can't miss it. I have to say, um, I'm a little down and out today because you don't have purple. Uh, hair. I know. I had a gig. I had a shoot yesterday with some stuff I was oh, doing, and they make right. me have black hair. And what's, and what's the next color? Do you have a color? In mind? Purple. purple. I think I'm gonna is? do purple. I you know what it is? Yeah. I found that the blue and the purple makes the younger people like me more. Mm. The funny part is when I go get it done, I'm in the sitting in the chair, and my hairstylist wants to get all the gray out of my hair on the sides, yeah. and I won't let her do it. So yeah. it's kind of like a rainbow bright thing for it, old people. It's like a gray to black to purple. That's right. Like that. That's right. That's right. Speaking of uh, colors, I, I believe Teresa is with somebody who's gonna brighten your day with some flowers. I 